Uh, Mr. Keach, what would be the perfect birthday gift to offer a historical figure of your choice? And who have you selected and why? Topic number one, what would I give a gift to a historical figure? Well, you know, I, 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 I belabor this a couple of ways because I've played so many different historical figures in my career. I've been very blessed to have done so. But I'm recently working on Thomas Jefferson. And I would like to give Thomas Jefferson a new wig because his old one doesn't flatter him very well. That's what I would do. Uh, I was thinking of the, the possibility of Ernest Hemingway. Uh, what would I give Ernest Hemingway? I, I certainly wouldn't give him a, a fifth wife, but uh, I, I, I considered the possibility. No, I think the week for That's really incredible. That is really incredible. Wow. Um, yes, and of course, uh, your portrayal of Richard Nixon was also very honest, uh, Mr. Oh, Keach. Well, thank, you. thank you. Extremely honest. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, on stage god almighty um i could i hope really our, our younger audience guys and gals there, there's so much these gentlemen are teaching us and we're learning but we can have fun while we learn that's why we dub this whole thing edutainment guys and gals and pals uh that was topic number one so right now let's kick it over to our judges and see uh who resonated most with them and why we'll start with mr fred ottman oh man it, this is a little difficult here <laughs> but uh, Mr. Keats with the wig uh, it reminds me of Austin Idol. He used to say, he ever touches hair, he said, Don't touch the wig. <laughs> Don't touch the wig. I'm going to hurt you so bad that your mother and your father. <laughs> 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 I, I think that's good, but uh, I learned so much uh, from uh, Greg. And uh, the conversation that transpired there, uh, information-wise, and, and was more it got more in depth about uh, the beginnings of his life and where he, you know, and why he did what he did, and with uh, you know, giving uh, uh, you know the uh, parachuting. Although I would find that unusual, but with what he's talking about his dog does parachuting doesn't see too far out of the action you know what i'm saying he he, he would be a little thrill seeker <laughs> so I, in this particular case I, I think it would have to go with greg on this one thank you very much mr Risitano. if you can uh, jot that in the back i'd appreciate that thank you mr ottman all right guys and gals again uh, the great mark henry henry has not picked up people smaller than him That's location point Everybody well, I, there's a lot of things I would give uh, Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson needed some. <laughs> um, if, 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 <laughs> if I was going to give, I, I think I'm, I'm definitely going to have to go with Greg. Uh, I think that uh, having a parachute makes you go slower. And uh -huh. I think that a lot of people in this world are moving too damn fast. And you don't have time to absorb the content. Uh, Mr. Keach, I want to ask you a question, good sir, if I can. Sure. Um, there are a lot of uh, students that I teach that are always talking about, hey, I don't uh, feel a certain way and I need to get to a certain place emotionally. And I, you know, of course, we tell them to stay present. Of course, we tell them that personalization helps. But a lot of times people forget, uh, Stacy, that there's great joyous moments in our life. That we yes. experience bliss and happiness, and those events can sometimes awaken tears as well, can they not? Absolutely. In fact, I think tears of joy are oftentimes more moving yeah. and more identifiable than tears of sorrow. Sure. Sure. Yeah. I, I love uh, I love that you said that, and, and I'm glad you agree with me on that, because maybe the one tool that some storytellers today are not using as much is subtext, because... Is that something you found interesting when you crack, crack open a script? Uh, there's this liberation and freedom about discovering subtext on your own as a storyteller. Well, that's absolutely true. And a, and a lot of times, you know, as a, as a young actor, particularly, right. when, I was try, when I was looking for ways of expressing a certain term, like love or hate even, you sure. know, I, I tried to find there's many different ways of expressing that. Every floor, I love you. 
as possible. And when I teach, I do the same thing. I say, how many different ways can you say, I love you? I love you. I love you. I mean, there's a, you know, you, you can go on and on and on, but it's a, it's a way for actors to touch their yes. hearts and their head. The same Thank you so much, guys and gals and pals, for enjoying this video and watching it. If you love the content, if you're enjoying it, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, and make sure that you know that we know that the new network is on the rise. Thank you for being who you are.